welcome guys, this is Minecrafting Dad, and we are recording episode 13 of our Minecraft FTB Regrowth Mod Pack series. This mod pack is available on the FTB launcher. Information on how to download the pack is available in the video description below. What is our plan today, folks? Well, last episode, we were working on building the crucibles and putting this stuff in, so I made room. I've installed the crucibles, and I've learned how they've worked. So, it took me a little bit to figure it out, but you actually have to stack the crucibles one on top of the other. And I've also moved a lot of our ores into some oak drawers. So you can see we've got the essences, and we've got the ingots. I've done a lot of work. So, the first of the things that we should talk about, as far as the crucibles go, is how to keep this thing fired up. Now we've got the furnace operating and as you can see we've already burned some of the molten copper and if we want the temperature to go any higher we can throw a piece of coal in and that'll raise the temperature up to 2000 degrees Celsius. So in order to get this out there's a couple different things you can do. You can use the ladle and you can directly scoop it out from there and into the uh, cast or what you also are able to do is put this ingot caster directly onto the side of the crucible furnace and this will allow you to you know basically make whatever you want so earlier today I was making some seared bricks and stuff like that we're gonna need those for future it looks like there's still a small little bit inside of here let's get that out of the way and we can replace this oh, probably fell inside we can replace this on here and I've got this uh, hopper so it basically automatically takes the items out of the ingot caster so what you'll see is is this should start emptying into the ingot caster and then those items should start appearing here in the item hopper and this is sort of like an automated way you can put a whole bunch of ingots of the ingot ore or blocks inside of the furnace and then have it automatically convert it into ingots and remove it out of the system. So now for example if I wanted to cook this iron I need to get this up above 1538 and as you can see the temperature is slowly getting there. Throw a couple more pieces in there and what's happening is all that copper ore is leaving the system and it's being automatically turned into you can see it's being turned into ingots and that's a multi-structure. Now if I wanted to make it into blocks I could put one of the, this basin on the side of the machine or I could use the ladle and also use it to fill up the nuggets or the block basin. So we have those quests that we do need to turn in so let's take a look at that and let's actually turn in some of these quests so what the how the world works what the world teaches what the world enables. Okay, so we can turn in the crucible furnace. This is going to give us more lava and some burnt bricks. We can also turn in this one here, which well, not we can't turn that in yet. We can the vat. Uh, we made the vat, so for making the vat, it also wants to give us some rewards. We did claim that earlier, and then this one here it wants us to craft some different items this is all of the tinkers items which we can do that really quick uh, and in order to do that we need the seared bricks I guess it is is that what we would need to make these guys so, you know normal smeltery drain controllers the tool forge so let's go through the process of making that now what I did is I went ahead of time and I made a whole bunch of seared brick now the process to make seared brick is basically by using cobblestone. So let's take a look here. Seared brick. So to make these seared bricks, you can't use grout. Grout is not a recipe. No matter how many times I click on this, it's not going to work. In order to make it, you need to use seared stone. And in order to get seared stone in the crucible furnace, you use a whole bunch of cobblestone. So what I did is I that's the reason I hooked up this little contraption in order to be able to get out the seared brick in a large amount. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got this up to temperature here. Let's see if we can make some more coal. 
If we make some more coal, we can get this up the temperature. Let's do that real quick. There we go. 24 more pieces of coal. This should now have enough. Let's put like eight pieces in there. That should have enough now to get this up the temperature. And you'll see, as soon as this hits the 1538 point, it'll start to cook the iron over here. So let's see what this does. As soon as it hits 1538, oh, there it goes. And you can see it's now starting to melt the iron ore. Okay, so let's begin the process of making all of these different Tinker's components that it's asking us to make. So it wants us to make a controller. Oh, we do need a piece of glass. Let's see, do I have any glass in any of these guys? I know I had some extra glass at one point in time. Oh, we do have one there. That's borderless glass. I think if I can, what I'd like to do is use my chisel to get that back to be normal glass. So let's take a look and see if I can do that. And I can. Perfect. Alright, so now let's go outside here and start making some of the different components that it wants us to make. So a small three controller and a small three drain. So a controller is simply made of just eight seared bricks. And we now have fireworks going off. And also wants us to make a brick. So we did that. Let's see, what else do we have on here? Is it, oh, uh, they want us to make four bricks. Okay, okay. We can do four bricks. One, two, three. There's four bricks. That it wants us to make a smeltery drain, which is nice and simple. One down that side, one down that side. Then it wants us to make a seared tank. Okay, this is where the glass comes into play. And there you go. Now we have a seared tank. What's left? It wants us to make a casting table. Not too bad. There we go. There's our casting table. And last but least, not least, it wants to make a seared faucet, which is just like that. Perfect. Now, the other one is a tool forge. Let's take a look at a tool forge and see what this is going to take. So, if we take a look at this... So tool forge, tool forge is going to require us to put three seared bricks and four blocks of aluminum. We don't have aluminum. We're going to have to use iron, I believe. So do we have an iron one here? What is this? Steel, gold. Let's see here. Let's see. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the recipe for the tool forge, and we will be right back. All right, guys, what I did is I took a quick opportunity to look at the recipe for the tool forge. So it just so happens you have multiple different ways that you're going to be able to create the tool forge. Uh, somehow, I don't know if I clicked on it and then didn't check in it, but there is one here for iron. There's also one over here for uh, tin. This is probably the two that you're going to want to use at this point in time because you have an abundance of iron, you have an abundance of tin. So we're going to use, in our case, it's, is the uh, the iron uh, blocks. So I did start collecting the iron blocks. I now have 36 of them. So let's go and basically uh, make these guys. There's our four iron blocks. And I believe I have the tool forge inside the house. So let's go grab the old tool forge and we're gonna upgrade this guy so here's our tool station I'm sorry tool station so grab this we're gonna turn this into a tool forge and we're also gonna need the three seared bricks that we just created as well so this is nice and easy put the blocks down grab our seared bricks and add in the tool station and there you go you now have a tool forge and this is gonna allow us to complete our quest and it's gonna give us a pickaxe head and an ingot cast as a reward. Alright, so this opened up some additional quests for us. So let's take a look and see uh, what we are able to do. So by unlocking this particular quest, we now have not that kind of coke, which wants us to make a coke oven. 
and it wants us to make coke oven bricks. So let's take a look at that recipe and see what that entails, just because it's a new quest, and it's good to see as you know we're playing the game, maybe we can come across these blocks. So in order to make a coke oven brick, it's simply comprised of sand and sandy brick. We can also make it by making seared brick and sand. This is probably going to be the easier method for us. But let's take a look and see how does sandy brick get made. Sandy brick is made from sandy brick slab and that's made from sandy brick and it looks like this is just an everlasting circle. So I don't think we're going to be able to make that. How do we make sandy cobblestone? I rock crusher and yeah so we're not going to be able to make that so it looks like the 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 method that we're going to have to use here is seared brick how much seared brick do we have we have burnt brick and oh, we have 99 seared brick in here let's see so now i have enough seared brick and i should have plenty of sand wow that only gives us one and how many do we need to be able to complete the quest 26 so if we times that out, that's 26 times, I think it was 4 or 5. Okay, 4. 26 times 4. We need 104 of these. I happen to have 64 and 18. That's uh, 78. I think I said, I think it said 99. So let's see here. Let's grab those. That's well over. That's 105. I think we have just enough. Let me see how much sand I have in here. I think we have enough. So I think red sand is interchangeable with the uh, with the yellow sand. We're going to find that out very soon. So let's hit this. And of course, why won't this work? Ba -ba -ba -ba. There he goes. Okay, so let's just load this up here. Let's grab these guys. And I should probably grab some more sand because we're going to use probably almost all of what we just gathered up here. At least we could get started on this. So let's grab this here and some of these bricks. And did I do that wrong? Because it doesn't like the red sand. Are you kidding me? You telling me you don't like red sand? No. No way. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. I don't think I have that much regular red, regular sand. Can I, can I like, let's see, does this go into regular sand? Ah, oh, that sucks so bad. All right, well, I guess we'll do this. Let's, let me go and I will do this off camera. And we will put together this, uh, these guys here off stream or off camera. So we'll be right back after we're able to make those items. Be right back. Here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on we're gonna work on a different quest, which is this guy here called To Hell and Back. One of your more vague memories is before the existence of one of the other dimensions. The only one you can recall currently is in a crucible of fire you've taken to thinking of as the nether. So it wants us to build a nether portal. So let's let's do that. So in order to build a nether portal, it's nice and simple. So all you're going to do in the vat, all you have to do is combine water with some lava and you give it like 20 seconds or so and what it'll do is it'll create obsidian. So I've already made some so we don't have to necessarily wait for the process but you can see right there that uh, it has created some obsidian. Now the other thing we want to do is we're going to want to create a flint and steel. So let's get inside of here and let's create the flint and steel. So this is actually, you know, just like a normal flint and steel. One piece of iron, one piece of flint. There you go. So let's go and make ourselves a nether portal. So I'm thinking I'm going to put my nether portal right down here in the basement. I cleared out a little area for it beforehand. So we're going to go and just basically put our nether portal right here. So let's take our obsidian and build ourselves a portal. I'll also use the uh, cracked sand bricks just to fill in the corners so we don't waste any additional blocks. 
But there we go, and all we need now is the flint and steel, and we now have ourselves a nether portal. So I think one of the things we want to do is we're going to want to bring some of the bricks in with us. I do not want to bring all this stuff with us if we go into the nether. So let's real quick, let's grab some of this and make ourselves a chest that we can put right outside the nether portal. And the reason being is if I go through here, I really don't want to be stuck like losing all my stuff or having to go back in there to get some of the important items and all the things that we've worked so hard for. So let's kind of leave those items here. The only thing I want to bring with me is the flint pickaxe and a sword. And I think that's it. So we go from there. And probably some food as well. So let's bring all that. And we can, we'll bring the quest book because I think there's a quest we're going to need to complete. So we'll go from there. Drop all that stuff. And we are good to go. So let's see, Look, does this actually give us it for this? Okay, it does. So the rewards are 10 nether wart, and it can pick either nether rack or soul sand. Uh, okay, it won't let us pick that yet because it wants us to light it up, which we did. And then it wants us to actually go into the nether. So let's do that. Doo -doo -doo. Off to the nether we go. Hopefully this is not going to put us into some very precarious positions here. So let's hope that uh, it doesn't put us in a bad spot. It doesn't look too bad. It does have Natura, um, so uh, let's grab our quest and claim our reward. And now we've opened up some other things. Thievery! Well, now you know where all the ore disappeared to. Looks like the zombie pigmen got a little envious and transported the ore to the nether. Not quite sure how they did it, though. It wants us to grab some nether copper ore. Uh, so, you know what's going to end up happening is there's going to be just a ton of things that want to kill us. So, before we do that, I guess, what's this, tainted soil? Nether redstone ore. There we go, nether quartz. we got all kinds of stuff out here. Ardite. Nether iron, and of course I'm not going to have anything capable of getting that at this point. So it wants us to get how many on, of what? <laughs> it wants us to get eight copper ores. Let's see, can we find any copper ores around here without getting ourselves killed? Maybe. Here's nether quartz. Nothing's tried to kill us, right? <laughs> I want the nether copper. So we got to take a look around and see if we can find some nether copper. I don't want to wander too far here. There's diamond. Oh, yeah. And what is this? Heat sand. Does this burn? No. I do want some glowstone while I'm in here, though. Glowstone would be cool. Green mushrooms. What do those do? Kind of cool looking. Nether quartz. There's our pigment. And of course, that's probably going to be where all of our ores are. So here's some nether copper ore. And as soon as I touch this, this guy's going to be all sorts of kinds of pissed off at me, right? I touched it. Are you going to come get me? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, still doesn't care. Uh-oh. Uh oh he's not a happy boy over there all right well you as long as you stay over there I'll stay over here and we'll call it a deal how about that you're not you're not very happy with me are you I understand I I'd be mad at me too but I, it, the book tells me to do it so you know just just give me a few minutes just give me a minute or two to collect my some things here and I'll be on my way I know, I know, you're pissed. I'm, I'm trying to get out as quickly as I can. Rutile. Cop oh, more copper. Oh, look at this, right here. Two more. Ah, yes. 
All right, let's grab our quest book and turn it in. We get 32 nether quartz. And what does this open up? This now says we need to reclaim iron ore and coal ore. So I think we saw some iron ore right up here on top of this hill. If I'm not mistaken, this was the iron ore. I No, that's the quartz ore. Was this the iron ore? That's also quartz ore. What, where was the iron ore that we saw? That's diamond. And root tile, no. I thought we saw some iron around here somewhere. Tin, quartz, where is the iron? You stay over there, bro. We won't have to, we won't have, to uh, have a talk. Now, I know I walked past some iron ore. I could be just going absolutely crazy here. But there was some iron ore, I believe, that we walked past. Redstone, quartz, and sulfur. Ardite, iron, okay. Let's see, can I actually mine this? It says harvest low. Oh, copper. It wants me to make copper first. Okay. So let's go back into the regular overworld and we'll basically go and work on uh, setting up our tinker setup and all that stuff. So we are back in the normal world. Let's see here. So what is our plan? Well, you will have to wait until the next episode to find out. Like subscribe and leave a comment and you can also watch my live streams live at twitch.tv forward slash minecrafting dad thanks guys and see you next time